Okay, friends, exciting things have been happening in here. And today, I'm finally gonna show you the rest of it. Yay, kitchen! Well friends, welcome back to my Mega Mama kitchen renovation, kitchen creation. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jay Morrell. Thank you for following along down uh, all the avenues of my journey, including this Mega Mama kitchen renovation. Fantastic things have happened behind me and you are going to see all of it in today's video. We birthed this Mega Mama kitchen idea in about November of 2021. We thought, oh, we'll just jump in and get started. We'll begin by March. Well, not quite. A lot of the bids and such that we got back from bigger contractor companies actually had them not starting until now, like end of summer or fall 2022. So I will say, praise the Lord and pass the chicken. We have accomplished the goal of being in the Mega Mama kitchen, and you're gonna see all that in today's video before summer 2022 is over, so yay about that. And once we decided to go a more like put the puzzle pieces together ourselves with other help that we could get a hold of, we realized, oh, we need building permits. And so we learned about that. And Travis, my husband, has been the general contractor. Through there, we had a contractor who couldn't start just with the holidays and so much going on. And in January 2022, he just realized he didn't have enough help to take on this size of a project. So by February, 2022 with another contractor we officially kicked this party off so it took february 2022 through august 2022 but it is all done by the end of this video except i need this pot filler reinstalled again you'll see the story there and what else that's it honestly that's it okay i'm gonna be quiet now let's jump in to where I left off in the Mega Mama kitchen renovation, and we're gonna end back here when it's all done, except for the stick and pot filler. Hey there, plumbers are on their way. We are getting whatever plumbing things need hooked up in this kitchen today. Okay, let me show you what it looks like before they get here. Okay, nice classy broom, stuff going on, random toy, some trash in the middle. <laughs> you know what, we almost live here. By the way, handles are on, but I'll take more time to focus in on that here shortly. We have set out some of the things. We have the garbage disposal. I am standing on something sticky. Um, the faucet, the sink, we'll need to actually be installed officially it's just kind of sitting there same things going on here and then we also have both dishwashers here uh yeah they are there in their packaging and then way over here we have this pot filler so anyway things are getting ready to happen okay guys so the plumbers have just left to pick up some more supplies at our little hardware store but look at this we have official real deal mega mama faucets going down they got one garbage disposal situation happening they got the dishwasher pulled out they got the other dishwasher over there unboxed things are happening it's exciting. I feel like I'm gonna need to read the instruction manual. Like, I wanted a big and beefy faucet, and man, I got a big and beefy faucet. So, we'll check in after they finish. Okay, the plumbers have gone. Do you see the beautiful things behind me? Let's take a look at what they got done today. Official, official faucet. Look at this. Water sprayer, and it clicks off goes right back on with the magnet. Exciting. We have, we don't have power yet, but <laughs> we have garbage disposal pipes that look like professional things are happening. Once the power is done, Travis is coincidentally over at the panel working now. We'll be able to flip the switch and have the garbage disposal. Over here, we got the same action happening. We have amazing water sprayer. <laughs> magnet. I just love these faucets. They, they definitely make my heart happy. And then under here we have 
all kinds of things also happening. I'm looking, I'm like, where's the garbage disposal uh, switch? For this one, one of these is gonna be the garbage disposal and the other one is gonna be the light up there. And then we have two beautiful things for my eyes to behold, two dishwashers. The plastic needs peeled off, just like the plastic on most of the cabinets are off. I mean, these, we still have plastic that needs peeled, but then some things like over here, this plastic is already off and uh, I want to peel that. But anywho, I will have a plastic peeling party, but hopefully, in a couple days, we're gonna see tile things happen. So I'm just kinda like, you know, if I still got some plastic on things, why not use it? Uh, they said they couldn't do the uh, pot filler today because they needed another part for this, but they're gonna come back in a few days and do this. And then they also hooked up the water line for our big uh, mega mama ice station thing that's gonna happen here. But maybe by the end of this video, we will be peeling off this plastic <laughs> that is left. Um, I did finally order, I ordered eight more of the bar stools that are the counter height. I've now learned a thing. Uh, these were the 30 inch ones. And I mean, I've had kids testing them out and they sit in them and they say they're fine, but I think they need to be a few inches shorter. The white chairs that I got at Ikea, what was it now, friends, four or five years ago? I'm still gonna wipe those down. I'm gonna, <laughs> just like my hat, right? Um, I'm still gonna wipe those down and use them at the end because they have a back to them. But then I wanted the ones without the back here because we're also gonna have, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15 foot table here. Um, and then those will go underneath like so. Uh, you see we have the beautiful thing now of the um, hand pulls. I mean, they're not knobs. Do we just call them hand pulls? The hardware there we go and yes the attic door perfectly closes or opens right above and the stairs come down so twice a year that will be accessed uh, or only once a year so yes these are done it is a thing things are moving right along this was one of those things I was like, I don't know if I'm going to share about this on YouTube or not. I mean, I do share a lot. And then some things I'm like, yesterday, this topic would have been emotionally draining for me. And today I think I can talk about it. So not the worst thing in the world, but we did have a miscommunication with the windowsills. These windowsills are absolutely beautiful. I have said they are the prettiest windowsills I have ever seen. They're nice and glossy. They're gorgeous. They're just not what I was envisioning. Um, we were talking about having window sills done to match the floor. And so this is, of course, we know this is like a waterproof, um, you know, lay down the little sheets there from Lowe's. It's called Harvest Hickory, by the way. And a couple videos back, for those of you who have asked me, I had like the, the all the numbers and the information because so many of you have asked me about these floors, but it's called Harvest Hickory. So anyway, I was picturing, if we were doing window sills that match the floor, I was picturing it was gonna be like this looks like a wide rustic board to me, but that's just what's in my head. So now that I have seen that in my head, that's what I would like in these window sills. We're doing a different window sill situation. And so, like I said, at first I was like, oh, I'm just not even gonna show them or go into it. So now I've made it a big deal by saying this little bit of thing I've already said, trying to not make it a big deal. But I know you're probably gonna see these in like little video clips when I'm trying to not show them. So these are getting removed and we're having the other window sills actually milled by a local, um, well they make tables and they have a blacksmith area and they have their own lumber yard. And anyway, it'll definitely match the floor because I believe they are making them out of real hickory and I get to pick my thickness and such. Um, again, before I had no windowsill thoughts. I was just happy with how deep they were. But now that in my head, I've seen a deep, thick, rustic looking harvest hickory windowsill, that's what I would like to see in here now. So we have to work through that process. Uh, but you'll see this one, nice, beautiful, shiny. Looks like, you know, in a library or um, just very, very glossy and beautiful, but I'm gonna try to go for another look. 
and Travis is over there doing his Travis things. I'm actually going to get a uh, canvas and Naomi said she wanted watercolor canvas and watercolors and art supplies. We're gonna have a art store time and I'm gonna have her be the one to paint a beautiful picture to go over our panel. And actually I have two pictures in mind. So that one will probably be like sunflowers. And then on this other space of wall over there, I'm gonna have her do a big sunshine one. Cause we like sunflowers and we like sunshine. So these are the, the progression of things today. I think coming up very soon, Travis was talking about he wanted to get power going, get the refrigerator plugged in, get moving on from there. So then what else do we have to do? I gotta make up the make up the, the main panel. And other other important things. And then come up here and put the breakers on and test everything out. Woohoo! Sure and then label stuff. And label it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And then, we'll and then we'll be able to turn this beast on that has the car keys in it. Yeah, I'll be able to drive this around. Well, friends, it is uh, actually past bedtime here, but I won't tell if you won't. Quite a lot has gone down in this kitchen today. When I'm filming this, it's a Monday. Monday was good to us here. We got some stuff happening tomorrow. Got a whole lot happening Wednesday. So let me show you what happened today. First thing to show you is the refrigerator is on. The electrical, I'm going up high because I'm gonna show you something else. The electrical is on. Now Travis still has other electrical things that he is doing. He went through today and was testing electrical and that light is on and the, that microwave works and super exciting. The refrigerator is on. And so this refrigerator has been doing its job. It is nice and cold in here. I am waiting for, I ordered uh, some organization bins and those should be here like any day now. And so I guess we're gonna start moving things into this refrigerator. That's exciting. So many of you have asked me the brand name. There you go. I guess you say it maybe Saba. It looks like S-A. And I wonder if that's a B-A. Anyway, it's from Lowe's. Okay. <laughs> and what? Well, okay, before we talk about this beauty, uh, more electrical things are happening. We still have other workers coming back. They need to do some things with these dishwashers here. Um, there's gonna be times electricals turned off and on. Got all that, but Travis tested all the outlets. He only had one outlet he had to do something with, but everything else has been working. Again, microwave is working. Oh, and the new ice machine. Uh, hope of all hopes, dream of all dreams. That has been making ice all day and the little shave iced. Isn't that cute? I said iced, I'm tired. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. My words are gonna slur a little more than usual. Awesome, awesome, exciting things happening and it fits. I mean, you know, we were hopeful that the math was right. <laughs> Everyone measured multiple times, but still, it's just nice to see that the big 60 inch Mega Mama stove is in place. The plumbers have to come back still to do the pot filler that's still waiting. And if you, you may see something a little interesting with the dishwashers, um, you can't access the top buttons. So that's not cool, but they did a ton of stuff here the other day. Like they worked a whole solid day and I'm sure it's just like an oversight. So anyway, I know that with our other dishwashers, they can usually be raised up a little bit or down. You can configure them. And this just, it needs to come down just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so whenever they come to finish the pot filler, we will have them. I've already left a message so they know when they come. I need them to put some time into looking at that for me. But I showed you the water already. I mean, that's still, that's still going great. I got those bowls I hand washed out here 
and I need to put those away. I put uh, some cups away that I had hand washed, still have uh, another shelf that needs to get put up there. I think Travis needed to move cups to test that outlet that's also in there. So he just, he put outlets everywhere for us. So the other super exciting thing though today was they got the stove in and it sure is beautiful and hopefully later this week the gas company will be coming out to do the things they need to do and there's still plastic and such on here that we need to peel off but we're just kind of you know even though the plastics just kind of <laughs> laying on stuff right now um, there's still you know as long as we have it we're going to use it just kind of bubble wrap everything for a bit and then I've had a tile saga just trying to get someone out here to do the tile. We want the tile there and then a different tile under the stove and then the tile to come up here and all the way down there. And then I also wanted uh, some tile. Oh, oh, two things happening. Ice dropping and the refrigerator fan kicking on. Wanted um, the same white lantern tile there above my desk area. So I think for real, for serious, yes and amen, <laughs> we have a tile man that is um, going to buy the tile tomorrow and I am paying him his, you know, 50% before the job starts. And then I have, um, he's coming Wednesday to work all day to get hopefully all the tile done while he is here. And then the other thing that got done today are these beautiful windowsills that just weren't what my vision was for the windowsills. Like I said, they're so beautiful. They look like they should be like in someone's beautiful wooden library uh, or be like, you know, a dining room table. They took those out today and they've been working on repairing the windowsills and I have another company that is coming out. They're a bunch of real neat local craftsmen also, and they are gonna do um, the windowsills to match the floor. That's just a whole other process. But for now, we have the other ones removed. So that was just, you know, one of those things that happens sometimes, but everything else is, you know, 97.9% .9 perfect no complaints here and i'm thankful they could come back out and and work with me on those take those out and we'll just try again so tomorrow we will see is tomorrow the day the plumbers come out i don't know i think so <laughs> but they're gonna again come back for the window sills and travis is continuing to work on electrical projects but it's so neat to see things coming together with the stove in place and lights. And we had the fan on today as well. Uh, Travis is almost ready to call for the final inspection. He'll be doing that one day this week also. So hopefully by next week, I am uh, really, really, truly for serious in the Mega Mama kitchen. Good morning. So I just came out and kind of condensed some of the projects going on out here to here. Our tile man is coming out today. I don't know if these doors, were these doors on the other day? You know, you know and I don't. But uh, let's pretend that they weren't. And so this is the oven that is pretty much the size of my oven now. And then this, it, which, you know, we've been doing things in this last almost three years. And then that is my super mega oven. Um, sorry, my phone alarm is going off in the background. You might be picking that up. But anyway, uh, stove things. Stove things have been in the works. I'm waiting for the propane company to come and, um, well, for them to email me back on scheduling. They said they got it and I should hear from them in a few days. But big thing that's happening today is the tile man is coming. So he is on his way he's gonna be here in like well, let's see it's 909 so he's gonna be here about 9 45 or 10 and he went to lowe's yesterday and took pictures for me with what's in stock so super exciting stuff for me like i know we really need like the final inspection inspection i know that's important but um 
mess wise and all that <laughs> you know like the tiles the the last big mess that needs done i expect the electrical will be done here in a few days the uh the window sills are back how they were and the the projects continue but um i think i am just a few days away from like really moving in this place haven't heard back from my plumbers i did call them and they did tell me they were coming back this week so the pot filler is sitting and waiting and uh anyway i've got plenty to do today you see how this <laughs> this floor holds the dirt well because we've been tromping in and out of here and we'll test because the big commercial refrigerator just kicked on and we'll test how loud that thing really is in videos so anyway i will give you little updates while the tile worker works throughout the day still never heard back from the company i talked to last week that was going to come measure it's been several days now so i guess if they contact me back you know i was already planning on saying monday hey sorry um you didn't come this weekend and i got someone else who you know i i think really will come and um but you know what they probably got some bigger job and bigger fish to fry as the saying goes but i just won't feel bad about it because obviously they're busy and i'm busy getting my tile yay this this is the cabinet where i hide this camera that i'm vlogging the kitchen in so our tile man has gone to lunch so i've run out here to see what I can see. And I feel like something just, oh, there it is, okay. I was like, I know I saw a tile here when I ran out real quick. So anyway, wanna, I wanna stay out of his way while he's working, but since he's gone, I wanna come peek. Big decisions have been made. So with this white lantern tile, and of course with all the tile, you know, my default has been with my uh, limited mama brain power thinking time <laughs> to do this big custom kitchen. I've just, I've gone with white, you know, in my har my farmhouse days uh, when I felt like the farmhouse walls were kind of closing in and I had, you know, super limited budget and I was just trying to make everything feel fresh. I just started painting everything white and that was coming out of a time when like maroons and golds and there were a lot of dark colors that I was doing like in the early 2000s. So anyway, farmhouse era uh, around 2008 or so i started like let's just get all these walls white and the walls in that house we had wood paneling and such anyway we won't get too off in the weeds there with that with this kitchen though i have definitely picked a lot of white and i love it and with the tile i just assumed we would be doing bright white grout however with these lantern tiles and with the tile that we've picked for you know again tile choice number four it was in stock it's worked out it's beautiful it'll all be okay um the tile that is going to go on the stove over there in the display it had a light gray grout and he asked me about doing a light gray grout with this lantern tile i wasn't so sure but i googled it we googled for pictures and sure enough there's this picture that came up on pinterest I, I googled uh, bright white lantern tile with light gray grout and the picture was the lantern tile with again thank you internet <laughs> the light gray grout and then what it looked like with the bright white grout and then what it looked like with a really dark gray grout so I do like the light gray I'm going for it and we do have some grays going on and of course we're gonna get these stained glass windows up and we're gonna have all the colors in the world going on but now let's look at the tile. He has things he is laying out here. Uh, he's gonna do the white lantern tile here in my faux desk area as well. So that is what it is looking like as it's all laid out. Of course, he's got his little walking paths in here and he's working on covering the countertops with plastic. Uh, he's got the outlet covers out and he's going to travis has been talking about putting the extenders on but apparently this gentleman is a master at his craft and he is doing that these are more of if you want to know i know people ask me brands and stuff so here's the actual the brand of um the white lantern glossy tile that we bought and more supplies more supplies 
And then uh, we talked about these edging pieces and where that's going to go. Um, these are the, the big pieces that are going to go behind the stove. And I don't know. I, I'm like, ah, I'm scared to touch it. I don't want to break anything. But the four of these go together and it makes a real big, okay, I'm going to do one, um, a real big pattern. And that is what is going under that hood. And of course, all of these colors and our color palette here go together. And yeah, there we are. So he is all set up and ready to work. He's got a cutting area set up out front. We also have a mystery pumpkin growing. Isn't that fun? Okay, so doing things. I'm going to go now uh, finish putting fish fertilizer on my garden and we'll check in on his work later. Well, friends, let me give you a peek at some of the things that happened here in the Mega Mama kitchen today. More will be happening tomorrow. We've been out for a little bit, so let me just show you what, what they finished up doing while we were gone. So here is our big tile accomplishment for the day. Now, there is no grout in here yet. He just has the tile in there, and he has all of those cuts done. I was learning all kinds of tile terms today. Uh, and so again, we are gonna go with the light gray grout. And so it'll have some dimension, I guess maybe that's our, some, uh, we'll see the tile. There you go. Okay, so mama's tired now. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking where to take you next. Well, the plumbers came and the plumbers uh, helped remind me that whenever you have the dishwashers out, see, it's been a couple months <laughs> since we've used a dishwasher. Um, we can set our dishwasher here and press start. So we don't need to be able to set it from there, but they did help adjust these a little more. And they let me know of another little piece that I think for up here maybe from somewhere, there's some little piece somewhere I need to get from our countertop company. Uh, and then they got the pot filler in. And so let's see here, there beautiful thing. I still feel like, I still feel like it might be a little too tall there. Um, but I guess I won't worry about that today. I'll have Travis psychoanalyze that. I feel like they're shorter than this one is. So, uh, maybe that'll just be our mega mama kitchen drama. Um, people can come and laugh at me because my pot filler is too high. <laughs> So anyway, those were the big things that were accomplished today. Pot filler, dishwasher adjustment, tile is underway, and he's going to come back and work more tomorrow. All right, and then this is what the pattern is going to look like behind the stove. I know it's, uh, it's dark in here. We have the power cut off since the tile work is being done. Uh, but anyway, that's what it's gonna look like. It's coming together, and this is gonna have the light gray grout as well. Well, friends, nothing to show you today because our tile expert is not feeling well today. He thinks he'll be able to come tomorrow. So we're still holding out here. Tomorrow is another day, and I'll report back. But here's another daylight look at what he got done yesterday. And again, that doesn't have grout yet. And uh, yeah, everything's here waiting for him to feel better, but we are getting closer. Uh, they called today to schedule the gas hookup, so things are happening. Okay, I'm not showing you the tile yet. It is Sunday evening, and hopefully I heard from our tile contractor, and he is thinking that he feels well enough to come back tomorrow, so that is super but I feel like we've made a mess in here this weekend. So uh, we just have some odds and ends out. And then I went to this um, big, it'll be either you've already seen it in a vlog or it's coming out, a big um, yard crawl, they call it, like 40 miles of yard sales in our area. And I got lots of wonderful things. That basket was $5. But anyway, that stuff spread out right now. And uh the one lone area of tile is holding down the fort. So hopefully uh, tomorrow afternoon, things will look a little different in here. Happy rainy Monday. So tile has been in progress today. Looks like a lot of math and planning. So I'll show you what he's got done. He's out at lunch. So I'll show you this real quick before he gets back. I see lines drawn there. Okay. And I see 
lines here and a line going across. Here, there's another line going across. He's doing things here with the lantern tile. He has the trim because there's gonna be tile here and along the back there. Bucket of water, authentic tile work going down. Trim that goes along that way. And then coming down here, we have more trim. We're gonna stop it there so it all lines up. So this is what he's been working on so far this morning. It is a process, but we are progressing forward again, yay. Well, friends, happy 11.15 at night <laughs> when I am finally getting the few minutes to show you the wonderful tile progress that happened today, so let's take a look. All righty. I don't know if you can see it from here. We'll walk up close and personal to it. Of course, our lighting is our lighting that's up on the cabinets with the extension cord, but there you go. So today he got this whole section. It looks so nice. And then this whole area behind the sink, that is gonna be so nice <laughs> to have tile there. And uh, of course the trim, and this will go all the way down. So yay. And then uh, many of you have asked us, Travis is doing lighting under the cabinets. And one of the questions is, folks want to know, why do I have outlets in this cabinet and this cabinet? So when Travis was planning the electrical and a whole new sub panel situation with dedicated electrical out here, he put in this outlet and the outlet in that cabinet to do cabinet lighting, whether I wanted it on the bottom or on the top. I'm, I guess, I mean, I don't do this, but I guess he'll drill like, some kind of hole or something, wherever he needs it. Uh, but that's what those are in there for. So on down, and then again, uh, he's got, I don't think he had this up earlier. I think it was all marked out um, and measured earlier, but this is the trim that's gonna go on either side of the lovely tile that's gonna go behind the stove. And yep, that's around that window as well. It ends over here, and of course the refrigerator is gonna come back over with this cabinet. Several of you have also uh, just been worried about this cabinet opening into the refrigerator, and whenever they come to do the trim, that's gonna reach the top of the ceiling that's ordered, and it's just a several week process. Um, I can have them switch that, that's no big deal. So cool with that. Also, I had Zion work in this evening uh, with the shop vac, so that's why that is out. Um, had him work on getting the rest of the shelving in, and I also had him, well, I guess the shop vac wasn't needed for the shelving, but if you remember, in some of my other videos I've shown you, there was like little dust and particles, and uh, I'm drilling from where they did the um, hand pulls there, and so I had Zion take the shop vac, and get everything nice and shop backed out for us. These are pieces for something. These are bowls that probably aren't gonna be there, but uh, just had them there for now because I showed myself washing those in another video. And then over here, I think this one did not have, there you go, it needed that top shelf up there. And again, I'm not married to this configuration. As my joke is, I'm only married to Travis, um, but I am playing with putting some things away. So, and another nice deep cabinet. I mean, this whole, this whole, this cabinet and this cabinet might just be all cups and such. And uh, I'm not sure what to put in the cabinet above the microwave there. I'm thinking like maybe an extra box of coffee pods. Let's see if I can at least get it open for you. Um, yeah, and right now we have that uh, shelf was in this microwave and I'm not used to having, like I'm used to just, you know, the little the little uh, plate there at the bottom. So we put that up there for now. It won't stay there either. Um, but again, progress. Someone did leave me a comment yesterday, and it was a very good comment about, uh, since I am <laughs> vertically challenged, um, maybe to stack our dishes 
and bowls in these drawers be more easily accessible. I do like that idea. I've got to, um, you know, for a lot of this, I need to get in here and like start using different aspects of it. Again, nicest kitchen I've ever had and will ever have, I am sure, um, planned out as much as it possibly can be. And then for the fine little points, you know, we can adjust things. I did order the, um, there's different heat protectors that protect quartz and other countertops. A friend of mine, her Instagram is, I think you say her last name, Cridal, um, Mrs. Cridal's Kitchen. I could be butchering it. She really is my friend, but again, dyslexia. I look at her name. <laughs> so she's an online friend. I'm just not sure how to say her last name. Um, but she shared, she used her air fryer on her quartz. I think she said she was doing potatoes in the morning and it was like 400. Um, and it cracked her quartz underneath. So I'm not sure how well these, um, heat pad protectors are, but I ordered them and they've said they're for quartz. So you know, not something I necessarily want to <laughs> take a gamble on, um, but hopefully they do what they're supposed to do. Um, I also ordered this kind of, it's like a rollout. I'm going to say plastic, but that's not what it's made out of. And it's also supposed to be a heat shield. So I was thinking I might do both, <laughs> like a cutout square of one and then the, the substance that comes in the other square. I know you're following me. So I ordered those. I also ordered the um, the different organizing racks where like I can have one or two in here just to organize like file different baking sheets and then I could have another drawer where like we file different cutting boards. <laughs> so going through thinking those thoughts, I also I ordered just ordered all kinds of little kitchen organizing stuff. Um, the racks that you can like stack pots or not pots but pans on so ver various things um, I'm just coming around to look in these cabinets now so that one no this this one whoopsie it's like uh-oh but again I, I appreciate the help so he just didn't get this side and that's okay I will have him get this side tomorrow. He probably was so busy doing everything that needs to be done over there, which he did all of those lovely. So, and I think he, he asked if he could lift up the plastic on these cabinets here. So I think he got busy with those and I just need to have him do these next three if he doesn't mind tomorrow. So here's today's progress and I'll catch you up again tomorrow. Alrighty, Tile Man is at it today. He's out to lunch, so I'm slipping out here. It's fair day, we're, we're going to the fair. Yeah, yes and amen, yes we are. So anyway, I'm slipping out here to show you what he's gotten done so far this morning. Okay, okay, we see where he's going with this. So this is how the tile's looking here. And over here, you know, nothing's changed over there since last night, but he knows what he's doing. Look at this. I'm hearing him use a saw a lot. He's making cuts. He's doing math. Things are happening. Again, no grout yet, but with the gray grout, it'll probably look very similar to this where you can see the defined tile. With the white grout, it was all kind of running together. Um, so it might actually pop out a little more. Doing all of his artistry here. So that's exciting. So when we get back from the fair tonight, we might have substantially more tile. All right, we are back from the fair. It's, uh, let's see, 11.33 p.m. Don't worry, this mama, I am on my way to bed, but I wanted to show you how much further the tile guy got today. Tomorrow, it should be tile behind the stove day. We did already have one reschedule, and I think it was for the best because since our tile guys had some schedule hiccups, you know, we were flexible, things happen. And tomorrow was supposed to be the day that the gas company comes to hook up the propane for the stove. And then the following day was gonna be the inspection for that. They called this morning and rescheduled for next week. But 
it works out perfect because now our tile guy is gonna be working on the stove tile tomorrow for most of the day and he still has to do the grout and all of that. So he's gonna need these days when they would be working on the propane hookup situation. So again, I'm just counting that as all for the best, but let's look how far he got at this tile today. And this evening he had asked Travis to turn the electrical back on just because he needed some more lights. So we got the, the light over the sink, how it'll be, but look at this. We have trim, we have tile and trim and tile. And I set this here because the pattern and the tile situation will be going on tomorrow. So that will be lovely. He got all of this done. This looks lovely. I am just so happy with this tile behind the sink. I didn't even think thoughts about that. And now that I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, I really, I really like that. Yay. Tile here. On down there's my little jars <laughs> taking space in that window saying good things are to come so yeah he's got this little area to finish and then the whole tile behind the stove tomorrow but I'm excited to see it and this is just what I do I set things up and I stand back and I visualize them and I'm excited to see the stove tile go in. I don't know who all these Amazon boxes are coming for. Well, yeah, we have we have kitchen stuff a coming. I got this um Mega Mama extra big <laughs> silverware and utensil organizer. Lots of various kitchen organizing things happening in these boxes here. So, uh, and that's our replacement bar stools the ones that were supposed to be a better height than the taller ones and yay travis did get the taller ones listed on facebook marketplace he's getting messages about them so they are going to greener pastures but we'll be opening all these things and working on this uh, kitchen organization as soon as we can officially get in here Oh boy, it's another day and the tile is, I don't know, do you call this 75% done? Let me show you how far he got yesterday. Big reveal, tile. Now it's not grouted yet. He said, uh, it's Thursday when I'm filming this, he said it needs to dry and he will be back on Saturday and he will do all the grouting from there. But look at this, I don't. I feel like there should be a drum roll or something. This is how the tile looks behind the stove. You know this was a big agonizing decision. Also, the plumbers are coming back out to remove the pot filler, hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow, so that he can do the tile specifically around that. But there we go. All those months, all those thoughts, all the tile I looked at, it came down to this. I went through a lot of tile choices and at the tail end, when I finally was able to line someone up to do the tile, and I was yet again looking at what Lowe's had in stock, I feel like this is something that when I say it, it's gonna sound like not a big deal, but in my world, on this day, it was a big deal. I was making choices with what they had, and I was like, yeah, this is fine, this is fine. So this is my fourth tile choice. And whenever I looked at the pictures of it, and when I'm looking at it now, I just got to the point where I was like, this is still the most beautiful stove I have ever owned. This is still the most beautiful tile behind my stove I have ever had. It is just fantastic, and I will be very happy with this. Originally, I wanted a tile that had the similar pattern, and it had uh, the blues and like the mustard yellows in it. And if I could have it my way, that's exactly what would be here right now. But it was a order and wait and see situation um, to actually get the tile that wasn't in stock. And so we did work through like a couple different blues, a couple different grays, because I like those tones as well. But as you know, but when I saw pictures of this tile, I was like, oh, you know, even in the taupey gray that it is, that looks real nice. And so there we go. Yay, the Jim Rowell's fourth choice tile looks pretty good. 
let's move on with life. <laughs> so again, the gray grout will be the next thing you see. I am actually leaving tomorrow. Here, I'll zoom you around to look at it. I'm leaving tomorrow to go on a little weekend filming trip. I'm going to uh, like another Airbnb type location. I'm gonna film my whole Business Minded Mama course. That'll be coming out here before we know it. I'm gonna get all the videos done for the course. So I won't be here to see the tile until probably like Monday around lunchtime. Then Tuesday, so that I told you they had to reschedule the propane hookup. Tuesday they're coming for that. Wednesday's a bunch of inspections. So I really, 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 even though I thought this week would be the week, um, I really think next week is going to be the week. If I wasn't going away this weekend to get my Business Minded Mama course videos filmed, I would spend this weekend moving into this kitchen. But it's just going to have to wait till Monday. We're doing the best we can. Monday's coming, and again, I think by this time next week, like, we'll be here, we'll be here, like, in this, in this joint. <laughs> um, again, electrical, Travis has had no time for that, and I'm going to, like, a homeschool mom planning meeting tonight for my local homeschool group, leaving town tomorrow, I mean, what in the world? Uh, but the Amazon mountain is growing with all the kitchen items for doing some deep dive organizing and such. I will show you the mountain and we will go from there. But by the end of this video, this kitchen is gonna be as done as it can possibly be and clean <laughs> and we'll be moving on in. Yes and amen, okay. And then here's the growing Amazon mountain. I'm sure it'll be bigger before we know it. All right, there's just, I mean, what? There was no other way to start this clip. My coffee cup is balancing on the Amazon mountain. <laughs> but yeah, I went away this weekend and Travis got a bunch done. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, I had to go replace my battery, but, and I don't know, like, I know the lighting's gonna, this camera's gonna adjust with the lighting. So, the floors are doing a phenomenal job being messy floors <laughs> because there's already been a lot of uh, motion and movement in this kitchen. Yeah, they're just, uh, I mean, obviously they need steam mopped, but they understood the assignment as well. So the light over the little sitting area quarter is done. Basically all the lights, all the lights are done. So those are the three long island lights. These lights are over where our big table is going to be. And so when Travis put the, uh, the chandelier piece together, he's like, uh, I don't know. What do we think about this? And I said, no, no, no. I think it's going to be okay because it's going to be over the middle of the table. So that was the whole thought process when I ordered it. I know it does have, if you can see, it does have some brass on it, uh, but anyway, it looks fantastic. And that, again, kind of mixes some things up in here. And I think, you know, goes well, blends well with the countertops and everything. Uh, let's see, then I guess those lights over there were done. So these, while I was gone all this weekend, he was sending me pictures as he was working away at these. And these took him uh, pretty much all of Saturday and all of Sunday along with, having Benjamin with him and <laughs> watching kiddos and stuff. This is the big update for the weekend. Now, this light, I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Um, it is beautiful. I don't know if it will go in here better once I get furniture in here. Travis did offer to paint it for me to help it match uh, the other light situations we have going on. But then again, I also wonder, well, maybe I do want it different. So anyway, no major choices are there, but he are, are, be, are happening right now other than Travis put it together for me. And you know, I was planning on this being like my mama chair, couch, uh, kind of little relaxation corner, been cooking for hours and I can come over here and get off my feet and sit in my chair. I will say that these ball jars are looking nice in the window. We still have lots of, you know, messes all over. Our tile guy, unfortunately, was not able to come this weekend. He's just, like all of us, he's had one thing after another, but he has been doing a super job, and he really, I think he only needs, like, one more day back here, and so he's hopeful that he'll be able to 
get back here any day now. He just wasn't able to make it work this weekend. Oh, that was the other thing. So I've called our plumbers um, a bajillion times. I think maybe they're just sick of me. <laughs> But I mean, who knows? They're, you know, they have lives. Maybe they're on vacation too. People do that. Anyway, we needed the pot filler removed for the tile gentleman to work in that area. I don't know how he does these things, but he said he has to have it off. And so it's going to need uh, a longer nipple is what the uh, plumbing term is. Here's the pieces for any plumbing folks. But anyway, so I've called my plumbers like for five or six days that's what makes me think that maybe they're out of town because usually they come right over or it's my joke or they're just sick of me. But anyway, um, haven't heard from them, haven't seen them. So Travis was able to get it off this weekend thinking that the tile gentleman was going to come yesterday. That's that situation. Uh, tomorrow, the gas company is coming out. And the day after that is that inspection I keep talking about. So... I am moving in here this week. Um, I mean, water is hooked up. Electric is hooked up. Of course, once the tile guy gets back in grout, he can do those um, extended outlet covers. Uh, but anyway, like I'm not even worried about cooking out here this week. But this is it. This is it, friends. We have been waiting and patient and uh, biding our time for so long that yeah, I, I have to get moved in here this week. So hopefully I'm going to start another video for you. This one's not done yet, though. I'm going to continue this video. Stay tuned. We're going to see the gas hookup, see us uh, playing with fire over here. And I'm going to continue this video on until, until all of these last details are finished. But I'm going to start another video for you about us actually like moving on in here. And so Travis told me uh, last evening when I got home, you know, he would go ahead and put the table in and he still might. It's just, again, we still have the tile work and then we have the gas company coming through. Um, so he just might wait until like the end of this week to get that done. Also, he said our ice maker was leaking out the back. So he's like, I don't know what that was about, but he's got that turned off for right now. So we can further investigate it. But uh, yeah, mama's done. Mama's got to, I mean, all of these cabinets now <laughs> are cleaned out and ready for us. So once I get in my second cup of coffee, we're going to start uh, pulling it together here and moving stuff in. It's actually a good day for it since I don't think the tile guy can come today either. I should be able to like get pots and pans and roaster ovens and get things in here uh, and where I want them for the most part. And then if they start coming and doing things again tomorrow, um, I can give them space and work in other areas of the house. Okay, friends, I cannot show you myself, <laughs> but I can show you half of our table. Yay. So it's like after midnight. Uh, yeah, the house is in bed. And I'm like, you know what? So the tile man is finally going to be able to work it out in his universe to get out here tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. I'm hoping that tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, he can finish up between the two days, um, getting the, the grout and whatever finishing work needs done. So that is super exciting. So yay for that. And again, half the table is here. So this is, and it looks, look, it's so cute. Like it looks small, you know, I have the exact same table in my dining room area now and the kids have had fun running back and forth because, you know, out there, out there, it looks big. Same table in here looks small. So this table, uh, the refrigerator is still pulled out again because of tile work and the ice maker is still out over there. But this table is going to be scooched down. There will be four feet between the refrigerator and the table. Then the other table in there will be brought out here. And Travis has taken some off the end of both of them. And he's doing some configuring. Uh, we might, I was thinking that we would have like a 14 to 15 foot table. I think it actually might be closer to 16 feet when we were doing the math on it. I mean, I'm not complaining. We have these, uh, these luscious lights happening, right? So I just want the middle of the table 
around where our big uh, Mega Mama chandelier is, right? And did I tell you the happy accident about the blue chairs? I don't think that I did. I've been also filming a behind the scenes Mega Mama kitchen video for my membership ladies that will get out before this YouTube video. And so I forget, I forget who I was talking to. <laughs> so anyway, up late with Jay Morrell. Um, I had ordered, they, these come in sets of four on Amazon and I had ordered two sets of the distressed white, just like the other chairs I have with the other table. Apparently this lovely light blue color came and even though I have gone with, you know, a very beautifully simplistic, uh, neutral pattern here or neutral color scheme, I like color. I just didn't want to think too hard on long-term color commitments for these kit for this kitchen. So, so we have our base palette, but now let the color begin. So once we have uh, 15 to 16 feet of table here, it'll just be a mixed up uh, pattern or not even a full pattern, but mixed up between the white and the light blue chairs. Uh, Travis also got the hooks for the stained glass windows. We now have them in every window all the way around and I have not been able to get to because I want to film that and get I know you all want the Amazon links and stuff by the time you see this video everything that I am showing like chairs wise stool wise even the tables it's all going to be linked down through my Amazon link below so anyway if you're one of the ones asking me about where these links are. Just look down in the description. Um, other big choice that has been made, same thing with these stools. I had ordered the 30 inch tall stools and whenever I saw a couple of the kids sitting on them, they seemed too high. We have tall kids, we got a lot of long legs. These are actually easier for Travis at six foot six to sit on. So the stool saga continues. I could not return the 30 inch tall ones without spending $189 per box of four to send them back. And they were under $150 for a four pack uh, when I ordered them. So anyway, I've actually found friends to give those to, and I've made the executive decision. Well, okay, I'll tell you about our Ikea chairs there in a minute. Uh, we'll shed a tear. So friends, what my plan was when I designed this island is that we would have seating for six comfortably here and then seating for three along this side. My plan was we'd have 12 feet on this side and we would have six feet on this side and somewhere just so that we made sure we had enough room between our island and our seating, we shortened this to five feet. And again, I'm half delirious right now, so who knows what I'm saying, but pretty close. Anyway, with ordering the chairs in four packs, I needed nine chairs. I figured I would use the three or four of those at this end and six along the side and then have two extra stools. But instead, I like these stools a lot. So I've just gone with the eight here. And at some point I may order just a single stool. Follow all that. Uh, I cleaned and scrubbed up and was going to use these. You know, we've had these since the forest house. I was totally going to use them here. But uh, I don't know, it just didn't feel right, didn't look right. I'm sure there was a coherent reason yesterday. Yesterday's Jay Morrell remembers, tonight after midnight Jay Morrell, I don't remember, but I did clean them up and I put a picture of them in my um, homeschool mom Facebook group with my local mom friends. And so I do have like three different families are coming. I think I've got two different families who have two of these chairs. And then I have uh, two different families who want my two tall bar stools. And so that's cool. I love being able to pass things on and that's easier on me than, well, Travis actually had them loaded up and took them into UPS. And then when he heard the price, he was like, okay, no, no. So let's see here we have, we have some dirt on there. It's coming right off. So that's the little stool situation. So. Yay, uh, again, table, second table is in the works. Also, it's probably gonna be another video, but I will be unboxing and hanging the stained glass windows and I'll show you all that whole process. Other thing is we have fire now, like 
We're cooking with fire. Let's see. Can I do this? I'm pretty sure I can. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, whoa. It's for real. It's for real. Like, like we can cook with fire now. So we had one snafu yesterday. They came to hook it up and we had the stove pulled out and that's why like Travis will get that little face piece back on there, right? But the stove was pulled out and Travis was here most of the time that they were working. Then he had to run out and do something. And when he came back, he came and looked behind and they had installed the valve uh, for this stove too high for this stove to move back. So I sent them pictures of it and, you know, super great. They came back out today and they installed the valve. Of course, I've got, got a sweep and stuff again in here, but the valve is now in this cabinet. This cabinet, they had already come through um, anyway with the line. So it just made sense to put the valve there. Anyway, okay, yay, stove things. So we have an inspection for the stove and the range hood. I think like the fire marshal will come out and stuff. So while that's happening, I won't really be cooking with fire until we uh, get all of our boxes checked. But tomorrow, the tile guy is coming back. I would, you know, in my mind, having no tile experience, I'm like, he could get this all done tomorrow. I know it needs grouting, but I'm also realizing, uh, cause he's worked a lot. He's worked several days and then has had some schedule stuff in between. So anyway, I'm trying to be realistic, Jamerell, which is hard and say, okay, no, this is not one day finish. He's probably got two days, right? Please don't let it be four, but whatever. I'm blessed to even get tile, <laughs> get tile done at all. So here's how it's looking from this end. So I will show you tomorrow after he comes and grouts and there's just piles of things on the table, but we have a lot of work going on and oh, so, you know, going through drawers and stuff and trying to get out like what stuff I don't need in these drawers because I got those lovely spoon divide, like long utensil dividers coming. So excited about that life changing Amazon item. <laughs> but I was like, can we put all this in a box? And Travis was like, well, no, because I still am doing a lot of work. I still need all these things. So... I told Travis I was going to tell you all that we're still letting him have his drawer out here because he has a lot he's doing. And these are, I believe, the brackets. Many of you had asked in reference to, because, you know, we, we built this island out of the Cheaper Chicken Lowe's base model cabinets, and I wasn't so worried about these drawers. I just figured, worst case scenario, if I couldn't open this drawer and that drawer all the way, it would be okay. This is how far they come out. Anyway, so Travis is working on, he got these brackets. So, however, when, when we let him get back to it, this face will flip open, so that's cool. And I feel like, oh, I think I know what the other thing is. Another thing Travis was working on the other day was, let's see, let me get my remote control. Okay, we have a remote control somewhere. Okay, well, I guess I guess I can't show you, but <laughs> there is under cabinet lighting here. This is, that's the little part you put the, uh, show the remote control on. There's the little strip that goes all the way down. And then in here, oh, there's the remote. <clears throat> Yay, right there where I wouldn't lose it. Yay, okay. So there's the under cabinet lighting situation. Um, also, many folks wanted to know why we had outlets in these two cabinets. This is Travis's whole plan. He didn't want the wires hanging. So he's uh, particular and on top of things like that. And hey, he can put outlets wherever he wants, right? So there we go. Now we have it underneath. You can see the strip. This is some other materials from it. And he's going to do that down here as well. And then he said even under that little cabinet, he would get a single one. This is the uh, this is the light strip. And it you can change it to like a brighter right, white or more yellow. And our, our lighting in here, I didn't think of it as yellow until I saw this. So now I'm like, okay, yeah, this looks brighter white. But I can, let's see here. Do I point it? There we go. 
So you're probably getting a little flutter there with the LED, but I told Travis it'll just depend on when I'm standing here living my whole life in this spot, um, how it looks. So anyway, but now we will just turn it off for the night and I will let you know tomorrow with the tile guys here how this progresses. Okay, friends, so, oh, see? There's the commercial refrigerator coming on. So we will test, we will test how much of that picks up in our audio. It does come on a little bit, but then it kicks off for long periods of time. So hopefully it's no big deal because I think adding, having to wear a microphone to my vlogging will make me sad. <laughs> so anyway, a lot has happened since the last footage. It has probably been four days or so. We will not talk about the elephants in the room yet. Let's go to what we've been working on for about two weeks now, the tile. The tile is done. It has a light gray grout. I think you can see it pretty well there. I still, you know, went back and forth on it. Even the tile gentleman, he was excellent. He was just like, I just worry that it's gonna be too busy. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of too busy in my heart. So I think the light gray, is good and I'm happy with it and my heart is happy and yay the outlet is there um, we're not going to talk about that yet okay over here <laughs> again we're focusing on tile but we have to run so yay tile outlets things beauty beauty thank you tile and you all remember like it was a real scramble on who I was going to get to do this tile because man, people weren't showing up, people weren't calling me back. Uh, everyone was booked until December and even though our tile guy, he had some sickness at his house and stuff and life like all of us, but he really pulled through and uh, got the job done for us. So super happy about that. My fourth choice tile in all the tile choices, but she's a pretty girl, we're not mad at her. And so the pot filler, 
uh, will have to be reinstalled. That was the last quandary the tile gentleman had to have that pot filler removed in order to finish this piece here. And so we couldn't get the plumbers to come back, couldn't get them to come back. Maybe we have scared them. So anyway, um, I've been leaving calls and messages. Please come back plumbers, please, please, I need you. Anyway, this is the, the last thing that we need done. Um, and then Travis can officially call for the final, final inspection. Now the stove has been approved. The propane is installed. There we go. Okay, we're cooking with fire. Things are happening, okay? Anyway, and also, you know, that's the thing. When I get filming over several weeks, uh, as I always say, you all have the benefit of like watching everything edited and the whole story put together. I forget what I've told you. <laughs> so I'm sure you've seen uh, bits and bobs of my little windowsill extravaganza. And we are back now to just having the plain windowsills. And I do have a local company contracted. They are going to make thick deep hickory window sills to truly match these floors. Once I got that vision in my head, those will be installed later in September. So that is fantastic. And for now, I'll just be, you know, dusting, dusting the bugs out of the window sills. Uh, we do have our little <laughs> shark there watching us. So the under cabinet lighting is done. I know that's bright and kind of waving, but I think I'm going to set it more to like a yellow because as you know we look at the lighting around here it has some yellow tones so that makes sense to me so we've got that on and then i'm going to guess that oh that turned it all on boy travis is good i thought i needed another clicker there is one here but that turned them all on wow good job travis i thought i was gonna have to have you know use the clicker for this end use the other clicker for that end. But that is not the case. Smooth operator, let me tell you. So, hopes and dreams happiness. All the happiness going on here. Oh, and what he used, let's see if my camera will let me pick it up. It's like this little LED rope. And there's part of it. That's where you point to the clicker, as I call it, haha. -ha. And, you know, he's so good. Like, look at all of his... Um, the way he attaches those screws and stuff. All things that my mind would never want to do, but <laughs> again, we balance one another out. Um, and yet again, this is why he wanted the outlets in both of these cabinets. He's got one here and one at the other cabinet so that he could hide all these wires because that's the kind of stuff that Travis likes to do. So over here, let's analyze his wires on this side. So yep, those are just as neat and proper. And over here, there's the other components right there and the other clicker. So I guess I'll have a backup clicker. How nice is that? So, okay, let's, we're gonna run. Let's run way over here now. Okay, so looking up, let's hold our heads up. That's what it looks like with the under cabinet lighting oh and i don't have do i have my stove i think i do have stove lights turned on yes okay so the stove lights are turned on and i don't know do these whoops 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 oh i'm i'm, I'm leaning i'm leaning against stuff where well, we not hear that clicking noise get back so i do need to take these grills off and just dust we had a lot of tile dust that's what i was cleaning up in the um earlier clip just tile dust and work dust and you know things have been getting done. So I don't have water in here again, because as I mentioned, the, um, the pot filler had to be removed and so the water's turned off in here. But once we get that installed, we can then have the final, final inspection over everything. But the stove passed its inspection. It had a separate one with the propane. So that's fantastic. And then let's just, uh, yes, make a mama island. Mm -hmm. You are seen, you are heard. <laughs> okay. So now let's talk about, as I lovingly called, <laughs> the elephant in the room, right? So I don't know that I mentioned to you all about the blue chairs. So these chairs, the white ones I bought almost three years ago now, 
uh, two sets of four on Amazon. And again, all this Amazon stuff I mentioned, I've got my shop over at Amazon, which is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash J Morrell. That'll be linked below. But I know so many of you asked me like, where do I get the chairs and the table and this and the that? It'll all be linked for you. I spent a good bit of time earlier this week. Like I know my ladies, I know they're going to want these links. So getting everything in there so you can easily find it. But with the, uh, when it got time to do this project, I went to order eight more white chairs and they came in this light blue color and I'm not mad about it. I mean, I always like that light blue color and you see we've got it all mixed up and you can see by like the little honorary yellow bird <laughs> sitting there in the middle of the island, which now looks small, right? What, what happened, Mega Mama Island? You, you got outdone. Um, anyway, there's gonna be colors all over. In fact, not in this video, but another video I'm filming for you all today when we start moving into the Mega Mama kitchen all the stained glass windows are gonna be hung up. And uh, I don't know if I told you this or not yet, that light, Travis got some paint and he's gonna paint that and make it match the lighting some more. Okay, but what did Travis do yesterday? Well, he also accomplished all of my hopes and dreams on this table idea. So I was thinking, 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 uh, whenever we were measuring and, and stuff, like I wanted a lot of room when we come in the door. I wanted, you know, you just, when you got a house with a lot of people, like you want room for people to move around. So I was thinking that at the most, we might only be able to like, you know, go 14 or even or 15 feet and 15 would be like absolutely stretching it. Well, this table is a little over 16 feet long and I will try to come in the door just to show you. So I asked him as a big burly football player how he felt about having room to come in and he just said he feels like he has plenty of room. And actually this table, I think it's 40 inches wide. It felt, you know, a lot wider in the last space. And now there's just like the room and the ability to move around in here is phenomenal. Also sneak peek, uh, the porch and stuff has started out here. This is just for us to get in and out right now. And uh, that's, they came and worked on that Thursday and I think they'll be back Monday or Tuesday to work on that some more. So those things are also being done. But yeah, like if I could whistle, I'd be whistling. Wow, this just worked out. So it worked out better than I expected. I really was thinking, man, I don't know if we can do 15. We might have to go 14 just so we have room to get around. But I mean, look at this. We've got a good four feet on this side. And uh, this side isn't quite that much, but I mean, it's plenty. It's plenty, no, no struggles here. And actually, this island, originally we had it as six feet wide and we reduced it to five feet wide, including that overhang there, just so that um, we would have more room in the section. But again, like I could not be happier about how this turned out. So what we did is, this is our original table and what's precious, Look at that color difference. So I guess that's a that's a good review for you. It's almost three years. I guess we're only two and a half, right? I got it February 2020 when we bought this house. It's actually like a collapse, like a folding table. That's it. It's never collapsed on us, but it is a folding table where the legs do fold. Uh, it is very heavy, uh, but I saw it in this Facebook group. This large family mom had gotten it. They have it in this white, and then they also have it in like a rustic brown. And she was so thrilled because back in 2020, she got this table for like $600. And let me tell you, to have a large family table for that price, it, it's such a gift and a blessing. So I went right over and I got it in white and it has just been amazing for us all the time. And it has held up well. So they did not clean it or wipe it off or anything when they brought it in the other day. Part of what I am doing is I'm just gonna like spray it down with my vinegar spray today and really work on brightening it up. But it's been loved, it's been used. It's been our homeschool table, our family table for going on three years. So then here's the bright white one. This is the fresh one, <laughs> the line down the middle. 
Anyway, that really doesn't bother me at all. I think it's precious, really. And uh, this table will eventually match. And um, maybe we'll, we'll just continue to sit down at that end and we'll have guests come to this end. So as a family of 11 who, you know, we eat three meals a day plus snacks. And my mama rule is all food must stay at the table. So again, heavily loved. So 411, of course, Tobin has been in his high chair. Uh, and then we usually we would have two chairs at that end, two chairs at this end. So the table actually seated 12. However, once we get other family coming over, like my oldest son and his wife, and now the grandbaby, and other friends and family, we were getting to the point out in the other room where when we would have, you know, four or five other people over. We had just had to set up some people on the couch with like the little serving trays and stuff. We just know that we can extend down and use this whole space. Also last year during homeschool times, like with all the kids books and different things out, like this table was filling up and I would have one or two kids like on the couch or at a desk or outside on the patio at different times, depending on what they're working on, just to have enough room. So this year, let's see, let me get my number out. You know, mom of nine, eight at home full time, oldest one still at home is doing all his college stuff now, but I'm actively homeschooling six kids plus a toddler. So we will have some room this year. That is fantastic. Oh, so what Travis ended up doing is, and we'll come back to there. So this overhang amount that's at the end was, you know, the same. I believe it was about 10 inches or so. And so he was able, he, he got a new saw, yay, Travis, but he was able to um, cut it, cut it, cut it the 10 inches or so off both sides and put it together there. Now he did say this new version of this table, it, um, what is it? It's just like a spec wider wider, W-I-D-E-R. <laughs> I don't know if, if you can hear me through my little congestion or not. Um, and I think he said it wasn't quite as tall. Like it was, the measurements were just off slightly for nearly three years later, trying to, you know, match them up and make them one big table. But you can also see like he's, he's got caulk here and he, um, has some wood there. And I think he did something down there that he, he worked it out. The man worked it out and that's, that's all we ask. Right? So I will probably get two more chairs. Right now we have seating for 18. And so, and these are just some nice chairs. Like, cause again, Travis is a big guy, six foot six. So he sits in these, but we can have, whoops, one more chair at either end. So we have seating for 20. Right now at this island, I'm sure I have had like stool and seating therapy throughout this video. <laughs> if only, if only I could go back and see. It's just, it's complicated going through footage and trying to find the clips and reminding myself. So I know y'all like a rodeo. This is just what it is, right? But anyway, um, I have seating for eight here and I wanna get one more stool. I've got six, the original plan was we would seat six on this side and three on this side. So we would have seating for an additional nine. So anyway, look look at this, the magic of filming. Two hours have, have, a, <laughs> have passed and I am now down here arranging stools. But anyway, I'm gonna order one more stool here, order two more chairs for the table and that will be good. Just moving things down. And so my two tall stools, uh, finally, between a couple different families, those are gone. Uh, just, you know, passing on the blessing to somebody else. And then also my original four Ikea chairs um, have also gone to another family. So yay for passing things on. And you wanna play I Spy? What do you see that's new in this picture? I was just having Zion hold the camera, helping me take some thumbnail pictures and look like the bowl. It looks small now. That is the 30 quart mega mama mixing bowl. <laughs> I brought it on out here for us to try to grab some thumbnail pictures, but yay. It's gonna, it's gonna get lots of good use out here. So friends, thank you so much for being with me on this mega mama kitchen journey. There's still some things that will be done. Again, the, the pot filler and then flipping the switch for the water to be on. So I can't officially be moved in here until then, but hopefully we're like 24 hours away from that. 
Got a big old pile of Amazon boxes here and a whole other kitchen to unpack and move in. That's the very next video I'm going to film for you now. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already and come back real soon to move into this big mega mama kitchen. Yay, 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 yay. We're so excited. I'll chat with you in those comments below and I'll see you very soon with another brand new video. Bye bye. And I, I was just so sad. I just recorded and this didn't. <laughs> My new camera didn't record. Now I feel like I'm making bloopers. Hold on a minute. <laughs>